Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from City Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Ranking the Albums. Today, we're going to look at the short but very sweet discography of a band that I love a lot, that a lot of you have asked for. British blues rock veterans, legends, I should say, free. Okay, They weren't around for too long. All right, but there were four really, really notable guys, okay, who created a lot of attention to themselves, a lot of great songs. All their albums are, in my opinion, pretty damn strong, okay? Some I like more than others, but, uh, you know, the, the guys in the band, Paul Rogers, okay? Once Free broke up, went on to form Bad Company with Simon Kirk, the drummer, okay? Paul Kossoff, incredible guitar player, died way too young, and Andy Fraser, Amazing, amazing bass player, singer, songwriter. Okay, together, dynamite didn't last too long, only lasted a couple of years, but we got some really good albums uh, that they left behind. So, as I normally do with these things, and uh, apologize for the uh, kind of the sun is creeping in through the window here, it's it just kind of goes through the shade, you know, it's kind of hard to escape it. But uh, anyway, I had a couple of minutes, I figured I'd been wanting to do this one for a while, so I figured let me pump it out here for you. So, we're gonna start off with my least favorite all the way to my favorite. Again, I like all these, uh, but you know, I like some better than others, so your opinion may vary. And uh, the point of this whole thing is to start talking about free and their albums, so please do rank your. The free discography based on how how much they mean to you down below in the comments. Be curious to see what you guys think. So at the bottom of the barrel coming in, what do we got here? Six coming in at numbers, right? Yeah, coming in at number six, we're going to go with Free at Last. Free at Last! Again, a strong album, right? Maybe not quite there among their best, but uh, Catch a Train, Guardian of the Universe, Soldier Boy I like, Magic Ship, Goodbye. You know, it's probably the least, of all their albums, the one that's got the least, like, amount of memorable tunes or, you know, songs that became somewhat famous or notable from the band. But still, a kind of really good, moody, free album, all right? Just maybe not as memorable as the others. Uh, coming up next, the last album they did, Heartbreaker. Yeah, I actually like this one better than uh, than at last, even though this has a kind of truncated lineup. You know, here you got Rogers, Simon Kirk, uh, Tetsu, Yamachi, and Rabbit. Rabbit, uh, you know, John Rabbit Bundridge, keyboard player. Uh, you got Kossoff uh, filling in on guitar on a couple songs. You know, Rebop, Kwakubu from Traffic, and, uh, you know, all sorts of dudes on here. But um, a good album. Uh, you know, a couple really, you know, Wishing Well is killer heartbreaker the title track is is amazing i love that song a lot you, know, you got muddy water seven angels come together in the morning it's a, it's a really strong bluesy rock album i dig it next up coming in uh where were we six five four let's go with highway all right again not one of their strongest albums but pretty damn solid title track the highway song I dig a lot. Be My Friend is a really good kind of um, bluesy kind of ballad -y kind of rock tune. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe some of the tunes from these guys. You know, it's like early on, really good blues rock band. Then they did some kind of more commercial rock stuff. And then they did these kind of like moody kind of like, I don't know. Their music was always bluesy. You know, sometimes a little bit of a folk influence. Uh, they had some pop influences going, elements going throughout their music. Uh, Ride on a Pony, another great song off of here. Um, soon I will be gone. The Steeler. Oh, can't forget the Steeler. So I like this. Okay, solid, solid stuff. All right, coming in at number three, we're going to go with the self-titled release. You know, here we got uh, "I'll Be Creeping," "Songs of Yesterday," "Mouthful of Grass," "Trouble on Double Time." Absolutely, woman. Broad daylight. I mean, you know, very, very, very solid, solid album, I think. Definitely a top three, for me anyway. Coming in at number two, might be number one for a lot of you. Uh, for me, my number one I've always liked a little bit better, but this is the album that really kind of broke them. Uh, Fire and Water, obviously. Title track, Mr. Big. Of course, All Right Now, their biggest hit they ever had. Okay, Heavy Load, killer song. 
if you got the uh, the CD reissue, you got all sorts of extra songs. You know, Oh, I Wept and all sorts of BBC versions of things and what have you. But, uh, you know, Don't Say You Love Me here. A very, very, very killer album. Killer! But I happen to like their first album, Tons of Sobs, better. I don't know. I just... I. I Kossoff's tone on this album just absolutely slays me. I just find that this is their, it's really gutsy, heavy blues rock on here. More, This is more of a blues album than the rest of them. And I just, I just, you know, Rogers' vocals on here and Kossoff's tone and Fraser's just really great liquidy melodic bass lines. Simon Kirk's just rock solid drumming. I, I've always just really dug this album a lot more than any of them uh although you know this is not that far behind but i just think tons of sobs you know walk in my shadow going down slow i'm a mover of course you are the hunter call me the hunter moonshine good and moonshine even better on the free live album Woof. One of my favorite Kossoff lead uh, guitar solos is on the live version of Moonshine. Uh, Sweet Tooth, you know, Over the Green Hills, Part 1 and Part 2. I just think this is a stellar, stellar debut from a young band that just, you know, knocked it out of the park. All right. So let's recap this brief little discography. What were these guys a uh, band for like four or five years? Not long, right? So coming in at number one, Tons of Sobs. Coming in at number two, Fire and Water. Like how I'm doing this from the opposite direction today. Coming in at number three, Free. Coming in at number four, Highway. Coming in at number five, Heartbreaker. And coming in at number six, Free at Last. See, I didn't screw up my numbers today, guys. It's it's tough. You, you know, when you're... Uh, I, I was never good with numbers anyway. All right, I'll just throw that out there right now. So a lot of times when I'm doing a ranking of a band with a pretty lengthy discography... I, I mean, how many times you guys always you guys always notice it, but like there are many times where I, I get like midway through and I'm just doing the recap at the end. This is the only time that I actually call out numbers, and I always get like I always kind of get lost in the in the whole equation of it all. So I'll be like, okay, coming in at number ten, this coming in at number twelve, this, and most of you are like you forgot number eleven. It's like I didn't forget the album. I just got screwed up on the numbers, right? So it happens. I'm human, you know? What are you going to do? Anyway, guys, visit us on the web at www.catranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're on YouTube all the damn time. So remember, in the comments below, we want to hear what your ranking is of the free catalog, all right? Your favorite to least favorite, least favorite to favorite. Maybe you got some you love. Maybe you got a couple you don't love. I like all these albums quite a bit, but obviously, you know, I think for me, the top three are like cream of the crop. The other three are very, very good, uh, but not quite up to par with the others, but uh, a lot of great songs from this band, a pretty groundbreaking band. Too bad we didn't hear more from them, but uh, if we did, we might not have had bad company, right? So whatever. Anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow, right? Have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.